Okay, last one in the um, in the report designer. Uh, I want to switch the project. I'm going back to the dashboard, and I want to open the Vico Office project. And I'm going back to the create reports, and that will show that the the templates that I had available for the previous project are available for this project as well. Uh, so they're stored in a shared database, which means that. Uh, all of these report templates are available for all of your projects that you're running in on the same Vico project server. One last uh, cost report that I'd like to share. Um, we like to set up our cost reports uh, as or the cost plan uh, using a, a uniformat coding structure at the top levels of the cost report. That doesn't mean that you cannot report using CSI master format. That's a requirement or a question that we often get. You can generate these these reports by just using uh, codes and uh, and tags. So you can add as many additional properties to your cost line items as uh, as needed, and then you can group and sort by those properties by those tags. So when we, when we generate this report, <coughs> you will see that um, all of the cost line items on uh, the level of the, uh, the cost estimate that contains the uh, activities and, and resources are now grouped by CSI division and then by CSI master format uh, paragraph and also added up so you can see the total for the concrete scope and when you scroll further down there's a total for the carpentry scope etc. Mechanism that we use for that is, uh, is again grouping I talked about that earlier in this case, we apply two levels of grouping. So we get a group header one and a group header two. All of the components that we filtered out are first grouped by uh, CSI one tag. That's what I called it. After that, all the content is grouped by a CSI two tag. And you can see how the the hierarchy works over here in the bottom in the group and sort uh, input panel. 